on third and five. Petty gets hit, and he goes down. Sacked by Quentin Hayes. Quentin Hayes is going to come from his safety position all the way back deep, and he's going to blitz on a delayed blitz and get to Bryce Petty. Great coverage on the outside. A terrific job of the delayed blitzer. A ball down the field that you throw very accurately will always sell you down as a quarterback. On third and three, it's kept by Petty up the middle, and Petty's going to come up about a yard shy. Wide. I mean, just wide splits, and then they run the ball the opposite way. Second and six. This time, it was right by the defense. Frank Shannon came up and hit Martin Hart. Petty, pump fake to the end zone. Incomplete. Was looking for Jay Lee, Zach Sanchez there on the coverage. This is a team with true national championship hopes on the line here tonight against the perennial Big 12 power. On first down, it's kept by Pell. It's Trevor Knight who's actually in. Trevor Knight. His first snap of the night. Petty. Down the field over the middle, and that was nearly picked off by Gabe Lynn. Intended for Tevin Reese. Damian Williams and Roy Finch in the backfield on second down and nine. Williams splits out. Bell swings it out to him. And a good tackle by Dimitri Goodson after a pickup of six from the end zone. Petty from behind, he gets set for the safety. Dominique Alexander, the true freshman. Spencer Roth will punt now after the safety. Jalen Saunders is back at the 25. Saunders from the 34. Saunders has a hole down the sideline. Saunders finally gets taken down inside the 15. That is good. That's where he got hurt, and that's what they're working on on the sidelines. That pass by Petty was knocked down by Charles Tapper. Petty stepping up, pressured, and Petty goes down again. Eric Stryker with the sack. A loss of five. A second down and 19 here for Oklahoma. Bell to pass, and Bell's pass is complete to Jalen Saunders. Saunders all the way up to the 46 of Baylor, a 28-yard completion. This is the difference in Blake Bell in the last month, Joel. Yeah, and the corner is down. That's an easy read for the cor a quarterback. Bell on first down throws, and he completes that pass. Nice move by Saunders, makes a couple of guys miss, and picks up a first down after 12 yards. Second down and eight. They swing it out to Williams. And Williams up to the 45, picks up six. Terrell Burt with his third tackle of the night. Handoff to Clay, who has the first down. And Clay gets tackled by Ahmad Dix after he picks up. All four of those drives produced a total of three points. Handoff to Linwood on first down. And shock Linwood. Will get a yard because he severely underthrew that ball. It's actually what drew the contact from Lynn. Hand off to Linwood. He gets tackled by Geno Grissom. On first down, the handoff is to shock Linwood. And Linwood will get a yard. Second down and five. It's C Strunk again trying to break a tackle. And he will not. Gino Grissom got the jersey, would not let go, a loss of one. Rarely do you see two wide receivers that close, both inside the hash marks for an offense. Williams splits out, pressure coming. The pass is complete to Saunders. Saunders has some room to run as he gets up near midfield, taken down at the 48-yard line. On first down, Bell hands off to Finch. Finch breaks a tackle. 
Finch still on his feet as he goes down at the 29. It looked like he might have stepped out of bounds, but the official said he stayed in and finally moving the ball offensively. Finch in motion. He'll hand off to Williams. Williams, good tackle that time by Ahmad Dixon. One for ten on third downs. It's third and four. Bell rolling to his right, throws, open receiver caught. LeColton Bester for the first down. Just the second third down conversion of the night for the Sooners. Good use of motion here from Oklahoma, and they're going to bring LeColton Bester all the way in motion and just continue his momentum into the flat. Very difficult to cover that if you're a linebacker trying to run with the motion. And off to Clay. Clay breaks a tackle. He's across the 10, up to the 9. Bell swings it out to Finch to the end zone. Touchdown. The second receiving touchdown of the year for Finch, and that was a great play call. The offense for Oklahoma finally getting it done. Finch is going to be in the backfield and just going to swing out, and Baylor is caught in the blitz. No one there. So now it's second and goal from a 24. And off. Linwood again, and Linwood will get a yard. Pressure coming. Petty hit as he's thrown and was looking for Clay Fuller. Bell. Pass is complete for the first down of Jazz Reynolds. And Reynolds gets tackled at the 29 by Joe Williams. And now Blake Bell is starting to settle down and get that ball out of his hand. Gets rid of it quickly again to Reynolds. And Reynolds gets tackled. Petty will keep it. And Petty gets stood up. He'll lose a yard. Charles Tapper with a tackle. Finch in motion. Bell pressured from behind, steps up. Stiff arm and Bell picks up some positive yards and a flag comes in. <laughs> Bell swings that pass out to Williams. Excuse me, that's actually Jazz Reynolds. Betty to throw on fourth and five. Pressured and he's gonna get taken down by Ndulue. Sacked for a loss of three, a turnover on downs with 5.47 to go. Be able to leapfrog Ohio State, maybe even Baylor leapfrog Ohio State. On first down, the handoff is to Finch, and Finch gets spun around at the 45 by Bryce Hager. Third and nine here for the Sooners. Bell, his pass is hauled in by Duran Neal. He was about to play in a game against SMU at the Cotton Bowl. His parents never arrived. Both of his parents were killed in a car crash going to watch him play. And he overcame, had to transfer, became a high school football coach just like his dad was. Riles will get to shake the hands of Bob Stoops. The overall record is 21 and 2, Oklahoma over Baylor. The last three years, Baylor is 2 and 1. Both wins coming here at home. What a performance by the Baylor Bears defensively stepping up their offense, known all about passing. They did it on the ground. 253 yards. Shocklin with a career high, 182, stepping up as Lake Seastrunk went down with an injury. Baylor moves to 8-0 while Oklahoma falls to 7-2.